and sellers have to still feel like it's a win-win on both sides. Always keep integrity in your business. Otherwise, there's no point in doing business. And you're asking, like, what do we do about is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he, uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that KUKA... You know, I'm a little more strict with what I'm I'm looking at. Uh, Anytime you're trying to make a deal, you always want to want to make sure it's a win-win deal for you and for them. You want to make it where maybe you give a little, and then they give a little. Okay, it's still a win for them, and it's and it's still a win for you. Okay, the last thing you want is for someone for a seller to walk away with a deal feeling like they got ripped off, because that goes on your reputation. Okay, if you have a seller that feels that you ripped them off, they are going to spread that word like wildfire. And it's going to be very hard for your reputation, okay? If you gave them, if you made it a win-win situation, it may not spread as much, but whatever does spread is going to be a good word, not a bad word. Bad words spread a lot faster than good, but you always want to make sure that it's a win-win situation no matter what. If I'm buying a house for, uh, say a seller is asking, $110,000 and ARV is about uh, uh, 180, but I need to put $30,000 into work uh, in, into it. You may have to be like, I'm sorry, but the most I can do is 90,000. They, they, they know that they come back. Well, can you do 95? And if you can do 95, then do it. Because an extra five grand right there will help save your reputation versus, and it'll get you the deal. I'm not saying that you need to screw yourself because you always need to follow the numbers. But you also can't take advantage of sellers either. And sellers have to still feel like it's a win-win on both sides. Always keep integrity in your business. Otherwise, there's no point in doing business. It will get a back around, and all of a sudden, you will end up going out of business if you don't. With that being said, I'm just trying to get out there. Use your integrity when doing business and try to figure out exactly what is a win-win situation for you when negotiating for a seller with a seller. Now, if you guys can't come to an agreement, that's perfectly fine. Just let them know where you stand and to come to you in the future. Or see what else you can do to help them out. You know, let them know, hey, you know what? This is, this is probably more a retail number. I won't be able to be your buyer. But you might be able to get that number if you take it to a realtor. I can suggest a few people. If you like, I can have them give you a call. That's a win-win situation. Now you work out with the, with the realtor and say, hey, can you give me a finder's fee? Or, or instead of doing that, you let them know, hey, do you think that if I give you this, send me, away, send me all your off-market properties that won't be able to go on the MLS. That's not mortgageable. Send them my way. Things like that. You always want to network with as many people as you can and go from there. You always want to make it a win-win situation. And how you do that is by listening, by negotiating, and understanding the seller's point of view. 
what's their true reason why they need to sell. Okay, if they don't, then they don't. There's, we're not here to convince people. Again, we're not here to convince people. I see you on the next video. Leave a comment down below whether this is helpful or not and what other type of videos that you want to see. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room